Hello and welcome on 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adeni Aji Shafe. Well, just as the election of the Nigerian Football Federation is edging closer, Nigerians are beginning to see what's going to happen because right now the NFF election, the sale of form, is getting ready as from Wednesday. That will be on as the Electoral Committee are meeting on the inaugural meeting that will actually open the chance for Nigerians to pick up the sale of form concerning the NFL elections. Good one all there. Once again, you are welcome on the show. Hello, Ali Peter is here. Let's talk sport. Good evening, Adini. I mm. hope you are going to pick your phone. To of course. Uh, someone said I should contest the president. You, 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 have, you, have, you have what it takes. If the <laughs> best you can get from Amadou Pinik is mm. what he has done. Seriously. I have confidence in you that you can do better than me. Oh my goodness. I hope I won't be frozen out from this. <laughs> okay, just starting on a lighter note. Now we look at the first story. Nigerian Football Federation election still of form to commence as electoral uh, committee holds inaugural meeting inaugural meeting that uh, actually it has started today and now the still of form as according to them it will be declared open anything from wednesday and nigerians can't wait to see who are the people picking this form right now we have contenders we have pretenders we have bystanders we have people that are just there to make their name heard Okay, um, it's, it's a good one, even though it's coming very, very, very late. And this is something that you're supposed to have done um, earlier, about, than this. earlier than this, about six months ago, mm. because in line with, because even though because they reviewed or they passed a vote that they have to review the constitution, this will have been uh, a litigation issue. Yes. But they've already taken care of that one by adopting that instead of the six months, they can move it the way they've moved it. So a good one. So who are the contenders? Who are the pretenders? pretenders and who are those <laughs> What we need is we need someone that really understand the game of um, football in the country. Someone that's going there to serve the country, the nation. Someone that will be there to make, uh, to make us happy. Mm -hmm. Someone that will set a roadmap, a strategy. We don't need an immediate result. We need something that in the next two, three, four years will be proud of what we've achieved as a country. We don't need an, in, an, a temporary, uh, temporary success in terms of football. Our physical out in, in, in no, the no, moment. No. We don't need that. And we don't need people. I'm being sincere here. We don't need people that have been there for over Ages. Eight, eight, 12 years. They have nothing to, to show or to offer for it. We don't want people we don't want the likes of Amadou Pinik to come and be dictating how football should, be, should be run in this country through the back door. What am I saying? It's surprising to see the likes of um, Sheo Diko saying he wants to contest for NFF German. I don't really know if you still have any, if some people have any honor left in there. You are the LMC chairman, right? And you can see the dilapidated situation, our domestic league. Ha. There's nothing to be happy about when you're watching the domestic league. Maybe. We don't have a sponsor. Maybe he we, wants to, maybe by the time he gets there, if he actually, uh, uh, we have Shiyaki, we also is coming out. No, I'll take them one after the other. Uh -huh. Maybe they want to. You know, at times when you have uh, a superior. <laughs> Your your intentions and your plans is limited because if you want, if you tell him or her, why don't we do like this, sir or ma? And he or she says, no, my opinion stands tall as the leadership. Uh, I actually have the leader, mm. well, the power I rests on his table. I'm sorry to I'm sorry to cut you short. Mm. I'm to I totally disagree with you. Mm. Now we have the NFF president. That's Amadou Pinik, being supported by two vice presidents. Presidents. And the two of them are both coming out now to that contest. they want to contest. That's and, why. And they sat with him mm. for eight good years. No. Are you now telling me that Amandu Pinik is that is so, pardon me to use this word, so stubborn that the uh, first vice president will talk here, the second vice president will be talking to him here, and he will still not listen. What I if? disagree. I disagree with you. Uh, they are not if? coming. They are not coming to change the narration of what we have mm. sincerely they are not coming to serve us they are coming because of their personal ambition now let's look at their track record can you tell me something that uh, Chiwudiko has achieved in terms of domestic league in this country I to even it. get to even get a spon uh, someone to sponsor our domestic our local league mm. has been an issue 
They've been going in and out because of uh, they had issue with money. They went to court on it, including Akin Wumi himself. And surprisingly also, the FA chairman of mm. Sanfara State, he just said he wanted to contest. Where is their local, uh, their, their football team? Developmental Development football. football in Sanfara State. So these are the people that they don't even have the track record of what it takes Mm, that's, why, that's why I'm trying to be their spokesman by saying, what if they actually have better plans, but because they have to be submissive to their superior, that at times they might are they, come so, are they supposed to be submissive to their <laughs> superior or to the country? Where what lies if, their loyalty? Okay, what if, what Where if lies their loyalty? Their loyalty actually lies with the country, but the country. at least somebody why is you at saying the that they have to be submissive Wait, to somebody their is boss. at the end of affairs first. The NFL president is superior to them. Maybe they just feel okay, whatever I would tell him. He can only say, okay, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard. This is what we're going to do. No mm -hmm. matter how they propose an idea, a very good idea, mm -hmm. maybe if it's 100%, very good, and the, the demand decides to take 50 from it and draw the remaining 50. So now they want to give us the remaining 50. Who knows? Mm -hmm. or, or maybe, like you say, they, they are the ones that they are sabotaging the effort of Amandu Pinnick giving him the bad advice so that Nigerians know that he doesn't have what it takes. They now want to come and do it, Abi. They want to Maybe. correct. They want to they correct. Want, that is not the issue. <laughs> the issue is we know people, we need people that can really, really do it. Now, a good development now, instead of having the 44 um, congressmen. congressmen, now it has been extended to about 70. So that means the issue of the FA chairman having control. A, a control or a hold on who becomes the NFF chairman has reduced. Has reduced. Mm. It has not been eradicated though. It has been reduced. So that means it's a good step towards it. Sincerely, we need people that will take us from this current situation that we have in the country now. Let's look at the game of sports in general. Mm. The only uh, sport activities that we are having a setback and we are giving more attention to is football. Sunday Diary he has done a lot when it's come to football, I mean sorry, sport transformation in this country. But because of the uh, FIFA, CAF and whatever you cannot interfere <clears throat> issue that we have is kind of handicap, kind of handicap to really transform the, the football, football mm. to what you will have want it to be. That's one of the reasons why I read from, uh, from, from the news that uh, he has already submitted the 10-year strategic plan for the football to the president for his assent. He did it today. And he did not send it to the Congress of the NFF to review or to adopt it. So that there won't be any unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means? That means that he doesn't believe in them. So that is why it went. Some people look at it that it's interfering. It's not, that's not interference. That is not interference. That is the right way to go. That shows that we know how to get it right. And how can we get it right? By having the right process. Mm. We don't need to look at going to the uh, Nations Cup next year and we want to win the Nations Cup. No. Our case should not be like a case of some clubs. I don't want to mention their names. Uh, of course, yeah. That, that one yesterday, mm. they have a brand, but, but they don't that, have it. Now that have you have mentioned yesterday, now it's, it's obvious that you have mentioned the name. <laughs> Who played yesterday? Napoli played yesterday. Oh my goodness. Roma Napoli. Napoli, Napoli, Napoli did not Napoli play yesterday. Napoli, Napoli did not play yesterday. Napoli played yesterday. And Roma played yesterday. It was Roma and Juventus <laughs> that played yesterday. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry, Roma, uh, Roma played Roma play yesterday. I just hope Al that... Almeria played yesterday. One day, this club, you actually not, you are trying to indirectly mention their name, but the day they will come, <laughs> I'm, I'm not mentioning their name. I'm just saying it, that what we need in this country, we don't want to have a brand mm. without a T. Yes, Nigeria is a brand when it comes to football in Africa and in the world. Just like some teams, they are brand in England and mm. in Europe, but they don't have a team. We don't want that. What we want is we need a brand and we a need team. a team. So the first thing to do is for us to have a team. Currently now, we don't have a team. Some people will disagree with me that ah, Sunday Awoni is called over, is called over the weekend. Uh, this is our striker. Kaiwa Awoni. Kaiwa Awoni. is called also uh, Sadiq. Yeah, he also Uma scored, is also scored. So they are doing very well. That is not the issue. 
individually they can be good but when it comes as to team. as a team that is what we need then we need a blend of those people outside the country and those that That's we cool. have in the country that is what we need that's the kind of nff that we are looking towards we are looking at nff chairman that is going to partner with all the secondary school with all the higher institution to have nipoga mm. to have the uh, principal's cup to start grassroots development of football in this country from the grass from the grassroots that is the kind of nff that we, we that we need right now we don't want an nff chairman that if anything happens it will be threatening you that will report FIFA ban. i will report you to fifa fifa will ban you are you not a nigerian first before being a representative of fifa or CAF? Mm. it is so sad so sad to see someone that's supposed to be protecting or representing the interest of masses of Nigeria doing as if it's the one doing us a favor. We don't need that. So we don't need people that have worked or associated with him that they failed this nation, this country, woefully for the past eight good years. They've not done anything new in terms of football. Now, tell me something new that we've not done before or that we've not won before that they have achieved in the last eight years. They are the longest serving executive of NFF in the history of the, this country with nothing, when I said nothing, no new achievement to uh, show for it. Okay, I should tell you one. Okay, I refresh, guess, refresh uh, my memory. Well, at least uh, <laughs> he's a member of FIFA. <laughs> 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 my goodness. Why we're just talking about the Nigerian Football Federation. In all sincerity, our football, we just have to do it right because right now, from the way it is, Nigerians want the best. And we look at that particular sector called sport, especially on football, that can turn things around for Nigeria. When it comes to sport, we are all one, so uniting. No one is Igbo, no one is Hausa or Yoruba or Christian or Muslim. We all come together to enjoy this, uh, the sporting sector because it unites us all and it also makes us to be so happy in Nigeria as a country. Hopefully, the best will be done there. Quickly, we'll move straight to La Liga. we we'll talk about uh, EPL uh, in the morning. Now, let's talk about the La Liga, Satanda. A lot of matches were played. But right now, we have to look at, uh, earlier on, we look at the, uh, well, the results of those matches uh, before the table. Uh, from the way it is, uh, even though Almeria, they did well. They, it was one all draw as they were able to play 1-1 in their game. And you also look at the fact that Sadiq Omar was able to score. Now, having the fact that Almeria uh, actually got a draw in that game. If you look at the way the table is standing, you will see that really things are getting better for some club. Why some club are not uh, going well now? Going back to uh, uh, La Liga, Satanda there. Good one. Villarreal are the one top of the table with uh, six points. Real Madrid are trailing with just a uh, goal difference of five against four. Real Betis, and going down to where Almera, that's on 13 position, Sadiq Kumar was able to score one goal to at least get a point for that club in the game they played. And you have uh, Barcelona, they are standing fifth on the log. You have uh, Rayo Vallecano, sixth, Atletico Club Madrid, eighth on the log. They lost their last game. Getafe, uh, they are down the bottom of the table, and also Cadiz. Yeah, um, a good one for Sadiq Umar. And if you watch the first match and against Real Madrid, where uh, they, they lost 2 1, even though they scored the first uh, the first goal, mm. he really, really proved its worth and he really, really tried. It shows that he has a lot to, to offer in the, uh, in the La Liga. He's, he's starting from where he stopped last season, where he scored 40, I mean, 18 goals for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the club. So it's, uh, it's a very good one, a good development. Whatever the table is now, whatever the standard we have on the table now, it's still, it's still too early. Very fresh. It's too, it's, it's too early to, to, to call. And but the likes of Real Madrid, it shows that they are not leaving any stone unturned. Where they stopped um, last season is where they are picking up this season. Especially this, they are fighting spirit. I love it in them. If I let them Real Madrid one two nil, don't go to sleep. Don't think they that, can just come don't, back. Don't, don't think that it is over. Hmm. It is not over until it is over for them. So they have that fighting spirit, and that they've proven times without number. That season, they started it this season also. So that's what we're talking about, confidence. Mm. So the likes of um, Benzema, he now has that confidence. He knows that the responsibility of the entire team is totally on him now. He's a role model for everybody. Unlike before, they, they have a lot of people that he looks up to now. It's only him that everybody's looking up to. And he has really, really delivered. So he's not disappointing. Then for the Barcelona, we are expecting them to start the way they started. A lot of people criticize them for their first match. That with all the players they bought, they are unable 
to find the next. They are yet to acclimatize. The teamwork mm. is not yet to be there for them. When you have um, about four or five players coming newly to La Liga to play for the first time, before they understand the tempo, the, the, tempo, the pattern, the style of the game, it will take them like five or six matches. Barcelona, they are a, they are a club to also watch out for. However, they should not allow the gap between them and the likes of Real Madrid, Villarreal and whatever to be too widened so that it will not be much easier, it will be much easier for them to, 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 to catch. I think La Liga this season will not be a one a, a, a one-team show. One, one team show. Uh, it's going to be very competitive also, especially when it's come to the top four. We saw how it finished last season. It's not over until it's over. A lot of people have written Barcelona off before that, oh, Barcelona, the way they started this, probably they'll be, play, they'll be playing in Europa, Indeed. just like mm -hmm. we have uh, the Arsenal and Manchester United. That's the reality. Don't tell me I'm picking on them. No, I'm, ma, telling, I'm, I'm, telling you the, I'm telling you the reality. <laughs> I didn't say. Because that is where they are playing. They are playing Thursday, Thursday football. Seriously. So a lot of people thought also, but, Champions League is meant for the champions. And but indirectly, you are picking on them. <laughs> no, I'm saying the truth. I'm analyzing to let you know that a lot of people. I, I'm sure talk. My, my United fans will be like, "What have we done to this analyst? That is always my thought. This all the football. Why do you know adding that thought? This all the football is the way to stylishly. But in the morning, I also advise them that they should go to Arsenal and borrow from Arsenal mm. what Arsenal management team and the owner they did for an, a, Mikel Ateta uh. to make them to rediscover themselves. They should do the same thing. Why you me. actually said that? You are still on the fact that the same Arsenal, they can't win the league. <laughs> well, That's what you said. Um, the, the truth of the matter is, I don't want to digress a lot, mm. but the truth of the matter is this, that even if you ask um, um, Mikel a Ateta, Ateta it will say and all the players also, they will tell you that the uh, priority this season is to be among the top four. Not to win the league. Not to win the league. I wish that, I... that, that, that's nothing but the truth. Sincerely, it is not their priority. So, because they know if it comes, probably by chance and by luck. Mm. It's, it's possible. When Leicester City won it, nobody thought you they, do they it. could, but they did it. Okay. Not that it is, it is something that... I agree with you. But what about... Uh, we, let's, let's look at it this way too. We just have to digress and look at... Mm. If Arsenal, if they ask Ateta and all the entire mm. player of mm. Arsenal, and they say, well, they know they can just make top four, right? Mm. What about Chelsea? Okay. Can uh, they beat their chest too that they will win the league? No, not at all. Chelsea cannot win the league. That's mm. the truth. And Chelsea will be among the team, together with West, with West Ham, that will struggle, as in struggle, For to meet the top the, eight. The top, well, let's say the top six. Okay, the not, top, top, the not top, top six. Eight. Not top eight. Because the truth needs to be told, they have a lot to do. Arsenal have done a lot, sincerely, but to get to a time that you need the maturity, the experience, the experience to, speak. To, to, to win the league. To get to, by the time they start losing two, three, four matches, frustration will come in. We saw what happened last season when they played against Liverpool. We saw what happened when they played against Manchester City. So when that time comes, that's when they say the jungle will mature. Good one there. We've been having a tete a tete in the studio concerning football analysis here with Olale Peters. We just have to digress a bit. Now, we're still talking about uh, matches that were played in Europe just uh, yesterday. And now we look at Italia, so they are where AS Roma, they did their own. They peeped Cremonese by a long goal score by Chris Smalling in that game. Now, looking at the way the table is standing in the first to 10, Italia, so they are first to 10. We look at Napoli at topping right now after two matches. Inter Milan, AS Roma, Murillo is trying to turn things around. Right now, they are moving up. Juventus are fourth. AC Milan, Atalanta, Fiorentina, Lazio, Torino, Sassuolo, and that pecking on that. And if you don't the table to the bottom of the table, you have Spezia, Bologna, Empoli, Salaritana, Udinese, Sampdoria, Hellas, Verona, Cremonese, Lecce, and Monza. Those are the lineup from the Italia as they went down uh, just yesterday to complete match the two games. Okay, you see the difference between <clears throat> La Liga table the Premier League mm. and Italian Italia Serie, Serie A. Italian Serie A, the top eight, will still remain the top eight mm. at the end of the season, if you look at all of them. But the position may change. Of course. But if you look at Premier League, the top eight is not certain yet. Certain only, so that shows that in Italian Serie A, they are starting with full force. So nobody wants to leave any stone unturned this time around. If you watch Roman match, um, yesterday, you will see that they really, really, really want 
to make a statement this season. What do I mean? They really want to play in Champions League this season. That is their focus. That is their priority. If they are able, by luck or by chance, to win the Scudetto, fine and good. But their main aim is, is to, to get to the big get boys to level. The big boys level, top four. And that's why when Chris Smalling, fortunately, the way Mourinho normally turn players to to another. That still, still baffles <clears throat> me. How does it? Baffles me. I don't understand. That is when you have a, a boss, a supervisor, mm. that believes so much in you. Even when the whole world is against you and you have someone that believes in you, don't worry about what they are, say, what they are saying. You can do it. Go and prove them wrong. You can do it. That is the kind of spirit that some team they really need right now. They need that part mm. that come on. Don't worry, we are missing 10 goals, 15 goals. It has happened before, but you can turn it around. around. Give them the confidence. Look at Tony Abraham. Mario turned him to strike a monster. Mm. Look at Chris Smalling also. Chris Smalling that we used to know in Manchester, Manchester United. United. Those days, in fact, a lot of people will be surprised. That, ah, so this guy is still playing. If they ask Manchester United fans mm, About to choose between Maguire and, Smalling. and Chris Smalling, maybe they should swap. They're already answering me. Mm. On what they really want. They will actually quickly go for Chris Smalling. So that is that is that is that that shows that the 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 factor of a coach in a team it means a lot. Mm. So Italian Serie A this season will be very interesting. The top eight will remain top eight, but we'll see change in position. First we we'll go to third. Third will go to second. Fifth will go be to swapping. Fifth. They'll be swapping week in week out. Week in week out. So that shows it's going to be very 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 competitive. This season. Good one there. We've been looking at Italian as they are matches that were played outstanding, rather. The remaining matches that was left in the match day two of the uh, Serie A. Well, good one there. And right now, for the way it is, Roma are not relenting their effort to make sure they get closer. Napoli are still standing top with Victor Simmons' team. Good one there. Now, quickly, let's talk to, about some transfer story. Our time is running. Manchester United are set to complete the signing of Ajax forward Anthony. Anthony, well, right now, they've been trying to see how they can get him. And uh, from the way it is, Manchester United are really trying to get Anthony. And, uh, <laughs> uh, even though it's as if they could not, they, they won't be able to. But it seems the transfer are now turning towards turning yeah. in favour of Manchester United. OK, and even the player himself, he wants to go to Manchester mm. United. I think yeah. I saw him yesterday mm. on the pitch. They kind of <laughs> visualised. Uh, uh, OK, I didn't, I didn't see that part. Mm. And I think it too is ready to come to Manchester United. He wants to reunite with his coach again. And the truth is, Manchester United, with the style and pattern of their play yesterday, and what the coach is trying to introduce, they need a younger players that can do that. If they are playing high press style of football, as in, let me use our word, bumper to bumper. Okay, you need people that are very strong, very agile, mm -hmm. and they have pace and speed to do and to achieve that. That's the reason why Raf Ragnik couldn't achieve anything last season, because most of the players that he had last season, they couldn't fit in into his style. And also, uh, Eric Tanha also, the reason why I think he lost the first two matches, he doesn't really have the set of players that can achieve his aim for him. So the, uh, the United board, they need to support him to give him the resources mm. that he needs to achieve before they can now do... Look at Arsenal, for example. They are fantastic. They are good to watch. It was those days that Arsenal will see seven chances, they will score only one. But now, if you are looking at uh, their goal attempt and the goal scored, the percentage is very interesting, very excellent. Mm. That is what Manchester United also they needs to do. They need to get in younger people to blend into the style, pattern of their coach. With that, two, three years to come, Manchester United will be back on track. We're back on track there. So you're looking at some transfer story. The Blues, Chelsea are right now mm. edging close. They are in advanced talks with Barcelona, Aubameyang. 15 to 25 million pounds has been the amount. But right now he's edging close, advanced talks, and the man could be back to meet his former coach. That's uh, Thomas, Thomas Tuchel. Yeah, and... Um, I'm sure between now and next week, mm. this, deal, will be this deal will be concluded. Um, for now, um, Barcelona, they really need to sell players before they can sign some of their players that they are yet to register to play for them in La Liga, mm. despite the amount of money they bought 
then so just some um, personal agreement between Chelsea and Aubameyang and the club also that needs to really be done. And Aubameyang coming back to meet his coach, he's coming back to meet to meet someone that knows him very well, that played with him very well, that knows his shortcoming. Recall vividly when he had a problem with Ateta. Mm -hmm. He said when they are in Borussia Dortmund, what he used to do, if the training is 10 o'clock, he would tell Aubameyang, training is 9.30. So I can come early. So I can come early. <laughs> He's always late. So that is how you manage people. Mm. That's how you manage people. So he knows how to manage him. Then also him coming back also, he wants to prove a point to us now. that to I am back also. And he's a very prolific and very good striker. striker. Very good when one. he got to Barcelona, we saw what he did in the first four, five, six matches also. And I'm waiting for a, a derby match between Arsenal and Chelsea, while Aubameyang will be the one topping for Chelsea. Good one there. Let's see if Aubameyang will be able to score against Arsenal. Well, by the time he moves to Chelsea, let's see how that deal will go. And quickly before we go, Manchester United officials to meet Barcelona uh, in the last move to sign Frankie de Jong. Right now, they still want to get this man They're really there to make a last move. Another one, Manchester United are interested in entering front for go German goalkeeper. Kelvin Trapp. They want to get him as a backup to David Gier, who right now is their number one there. And Wolves Hampton Wanderers are great passing at times with VFB Stuttgart's uh, Austrian striker, Sasha Kalajic. That's a player they want to get right now. Wolves Hampton Wanderers, they want to go for Sasha at least to get him to play for them. Yeah, a good one. Everybody's trying to do the last minute rush to be sure that yes. whatever issue that they have, where, they they've seen their, where they've seen the loopholes in their team, they key it into it. But to Manchester United again, and before you accuse me, this is the reality. Is it more that if they signed Frank De Jong? And maybe for it, how many? The coach believes so much in him, that's why he's looking no, for No, they are putting a lot of pressure on the young lad. If eventually the deal it, it should sail through, it comes. A lot of pressure will be on him that you, that it took us almost two years to, to pursue. sign you, to pursue you. <laughs> now we want you to deliver, and that is not the kind of pressure that a player, a younger player of his age, should come with to a team like Manchester United. Mm. Sincerely, I think they should take it easy on the guy and they should also take it easy in their conversation. It's not a must they get in place. It's more a must that Manchester must sign the job. But from the way it is, we'll continue to look at those transfer stories, very juicy ones, and wishing Nigerian team also the best as they move in the MPFL. Freaking out football league where players are also moving around. Now, we've been talking sport on 360 Sport on Trust TV with Olawale Peters. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure being here, And I just noticed that you like wearing blue, even though you like attacking. <laughs> I'm not a <laughs> fan. <laughs> Good one there. I'm Adeni Ajishafe. Sport is always business and fitness. Thanks for watching.